I'm Nicole Scott with BNETTV.com. I'm down here at CTIA Wireless in Las Vegas. I'm joined by Tamara Casey from 40K. How are you doing today? I'm fine, thank you. Thanks for having me here. Oh, it's always a pleasure. Can you tell me a little bit about 40K? Sure. 40K is a technology company. We're developing two products for the wireless space. One is an application switch for the network side, and the other one is a middleware application for the handset that uh, helps with interoperability. Now. Why did you come up with these applications? Where, where, where's, where's the background on that? The background is that uh, we, uh, most of my team and I had been at Nextel Communications before I founded 40K. And during that time, we had a chance to look at a lot of industry standards, a lot of technology platforms. And um, we had a tendency to find the holes, I guess, for lack of a better term. And uh, so as we left uh, Nextel and we started thinking about, you know, what the challenges were going to be as we more wirelessly enabled the web, we realized that interoperability was really a fundamental challenge and that it couldn't be solved in the network alone. It also had to be solved in the devices. Mm -hmm. And ideally, when you marry the solutions between the devices and the network, then you actually have the ability to introduce what we call context. So with interoperability and context, I can actually adapt the services you're using to your actual immediate situation. So for example, if you had a Bluetooth headset on right now, with our products on our platforms, you would, we would know that. And we, if you got an SMS, we would be able to deliver that SMS straight into your Bluetooth without you having to read the SMS because you're in the middle of something. So, you know, those kinds of adaptions of services, it's still SMS, but we're going to deliver the content to you in a different way. Um, that's really what 40K is all about, interoperability and context. This sounds a little too fantastic, actually. So, <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> so all I have to do is download your application onto my phone, and you'll help me nah, manage. Uh, not that simple. Not that simple. Not that simple. Okay, I was, I was yeah. hoping. Unfortunately, <laughs> fortunately or unfortunately, the handset software is actually middleware. Oh. Now there are some applications that we're demonstrating, and and once that middleware is available, mm -hmm. then there are new applications and services that can be built on top of that. Okay. But we're actually working with the handset set manufacturers right now and the technology companies like Qualcomm and Ericsson and Nokia to get that middleware embedded in the handset. So when the handset developers are actually working on the products, our middleware will be included there, which will allow new applications to be made available and make them a lot smarter and make them talk to each other more effectively. So that's the only, that's the only wrinkle. <laughs> It's actually very funny. I always stand here and like, why can't I have it? Why can't you just give it to me instead of having to be talk to some of the other B2B stuff, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> As a consumer, we're just itching for stuff like this, and it just takes too long to get it. So you it, better, it you better get on that. Well, the good news <laughs> is on smartphone platforms, which is what we're demoing here at the show, we've actually been able to do a lot oh, okay. um, without and, and just download it to the phone directly. And so we're really optimistic that we'll be able to launch the products on smartphone platforms very, very quickly and make it available direct to consumers very quickly. Um, the uh, older or more closed operating system mm -hmm. handsets, that, that's the one that's going to take a little longer. But the good news is it looks like the smartphones will be ready to go pretty mm -hmm. quick. So. Do you have a demo here? Is this what you have uh, here? I don't or? have a demo okay. with me, I'm sorry, but in oh, that's fun. down in our booth, we'd love to give you a demo. Oh, okay, we, okay. Uh, we can show you how basically applications on your phone that don't normally interoperate uh, can all be made to interoperate and then also have this context. Uh, capability. Can you give me some examples of what would happen within a demo? Sure. Um, in the SCAMP demo that we're doing, we actually have two. The first one is showing what application interoperability means to us. So, uh, for example, if we were using an iPhone, we would show you how we've built middleware that connects to all the different applications that are native on the iPhone that come from Apple. Those applications don't really normally talk to each other, or one might talk to another one just for one particular function, like photos talks to email, but that's the only functionality. So what we've done is we've written a demonstration application that we call Dossier, which is essentially the same thing as if you went to your laptop and you created a new file folder on the desktop. Now, on your laptop, you can put any type of data pictures, email, Word documents, doesn't matter. Any type of data can go into that folder. Essentially, Dossier lets you do the same thing from your phone. So I can make a dossier about BNet, 
and I can put all the email, your contact information, your photographs, video clips, whatever I want into that folder. And that's the functionality that doesn't exist on smartphones today. And so what we're showing is that kind of capability, and we've done it on an iPhone, we've done it on a BlackBerry, and we've actually done it on a Windows mobile device as well. Mm. And so even though our software is the same that runs on all of those devices, the user interface is the same user interface that you're used to. We haven't made any changes there, so it still behaves the way you're used to. If you're a BlackBerry user, you still get your thumb wheel. If you're an iPhone, you still get your touch screen. So. Fantastic. Well, it sounds really, really exciting, and I can't wait to uh, see where you go with this. And, you know, you might think of a consumer application, just, you know, speed things up a bit. Maybe for me? Just for me? Just for you. Okay. Definitely. Okay, good, good. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this has been Tamara Casey with 4DK, and I'm Nicole Scott down here at CTIA Wireless in Las Vegas.